Welcome to Chapter 5. Assets, Liabilities, and Equity Accounts. Part of Practical Bookkeeping Theory. Brought to you by the Association of Practical Accounts, APA. Hi, my name is Kate, together with Paul, to take you through this chapter. We only appear on this slide, but we'll be talking to you through the whole chapter. To get the best from us, we request for silence and maximum attention. However, if there is anything not clear, please pause or replay the video, as many times as you want. We wish you all a good learning session. Chapter Overview 5.1 Covers Assets Is on Slide 4.5.2 Equipment, Machinery and Vehicles is on slide 8.5.3. Other fixed assets is on slide 11.5.4. Current assets is on slide 14.5.5. Bank and cash balances is on slide 17.5.6. Other current assets is on slide 20.5.7. Liabilities is on slide 24.5.8. Other current liabilities is on slide 26.5.9. Long-term liabilities is on slide 33.5.10. Equity accounts is on slide 36. Section 5.1. Assets. An asset is anything owned by a business and used to generate income. Assets are classified into fixed assets and current assets, as illustrated here. This slide shows the subclassifications of fixed and current assets, and the different groups of accounts in each. Fixed assets are bought with the aim of using them for many years. They are classified into two groups as illustrated below. The numbering of groups is a continuation from 19 which was the last group among the expense accounts. Section 5.2 Equipment, Machinery and Vehicles Group G20 This is a group of accounts for recording equipment, machinery and vehicles belonging to the business. This includes machinery and equipment cost, machinery and equipment depreciation, vehicles cost, vehicles depreciation, Furniture and fittings cost, plus furniture and fittings depreciation. Machinery and equipment cost account is for machines and equipment bought. This includes typewriters, computers and photocopiers. Machinery and equipment depreciation account is for the value written off to the profit and loss account. Vehicles cost account is for cars, vans, lorries, and motorcycles bought. Vehicles depreciation account is for vehicle values written off to the profit and loss account. Furniture and fittings cost account is for tables, chairs, shelves, cabinets, display counters, and filling cabinets bought. Furniture and fittings depreciation account is for furniture and fittings written off. Section 5.3 Other Fixed Assets Group 21 This is a group of accounts for recording the other fixed assets which are not equipment, machinery and vehicles. This includes goodwill cost, goodwill amortization, property improvements cost, property improvements depreciation, premises cost, plus premises depreciation. Goodwill cost account is for the bought goodwill which is the difference between the purchase price and net assets. Net assets is the difference between assets and liabilities. Goodwill amortization account is for goodwill written off. Property improvements cost account is for repairs or improvements to business premises. Property improvements depreciation account is for repairs or improvements depreciated. Premises cost account is for recording business premises or buildings bought. Premises depreciation account is for business premises depreciated. Section 5.4 Current Assets 
this refers to cash, and the other assets easily converted into cash. They are classified into the following groups, stock and work in progress. Trade debtors. Bank. Cash. Plus other current assets. Stock and work in progress WIP. This group is for the stock and work in progress account, where we record unsold stock, raw materials and work in progress, all derived through stock taking. Trade debtors is a group, where we only have the trade debtors account. This account is used for recording all transactions involving trade debtors. Section 5.5 Bank and Cash Balances Bank is a group of accounts, where we record money, that ends up in the bank. We have Bank Account 1. The Check Receipts Account. Electronic Receipts Account. Plus Bank Account 2. If the business has more than one bank account, Bank 1 account is for recording transactions on a particular account like the one in Barclays Bank. Check Receipts Account is for checks received and deposited. Electronic Receipts Account is for debit or credit card payments received, plus their deposit. Bank 2 Account is for the second bank account. Cash is a group for only the cash account. This account is used for recording all cash received, paid out, and deposited to the bank. Below is an illustration of the group and the only cash account. Section 5.6 Other Current Assets Group 26 This is a group of accounts for recording debtor transactions that are not for trade debtors. This includes income reserve, prepayments, other debtors, rent deposit, plus purchases VAT. Income reserve account is for year-end adjustments for credit sales, whose invoices are not yet ready. It's for temporary unspecified debtors. Prepayments account is for expenses paid in a particular year, but incurred or utilized in the following financial year. An example is insurance. Other debtors account is for debtors who didn't buy from the business, they could have borrowed physical cash. Rent deposit account is for money held by a landlord to finance the repair or replacement of anything destroyed by a tenant. Purchases VAT account is for VAT charged on purchases bought. Section 5.7 Liabilities A liability is money owed to others. They are classified into current and long-term liabilities as illustrated below. Current liabilities are the ones to be repaid within 12 months. Long-term liabilities are the ones whose repayment period is beyond 12 months. The trade creditors account is for recording all transactions regarding trade creditors. Section 5.8 Other Current Liabilities Group 28 These are accounts for recording money owed to those who are not trade creditors, and it's to be repaid within 12 months. Get a clearer view on the next slide. The accounts in this group are accruals, VAT payable, pay and NI net wages, advance income, credit card lottery, agency collection 1, agency collection 2, other creditors, sales VAT plus temporary suspense. Accruals account is for year-end adjustments made because the invoice for credit purchases was not available. It's for temporary and specified creditors. VAT payable account is for transferring purchases VAT and sales VAT balances, plus VAT paid and refunds received. Pay and NI account is for the pay, as you earn and national insurance contributions. Net wages account is for the net amount after deducting pay, NI and others. Advance income account is for sales made in one year but the products are only transferred to the buyer in the following year. Credit card account is for payments made using a credit card, plus what is repaid to the credit card company. Lottery account is for lottery sales, wins and submissions to the lottery company. Agency collection account is for money collected by the business as an agent, and payments to the agency company. 
Examples are airtime sales. Other creditors account is for creditors who didn't sell to the business. The business could have borrowed cash from them. Sales VAT account is for the VAT charged on sales. Temporary suspense account is for the temporary recording of transactions not sure about or errors exposed. Section 5.9 Long-term liabilities Long-term liabilities is owed money whose repayment period is beyond 12 months. We have loans and higher purchases. Loans Loans are in Group 29, with the two accounts illustrated here. Loan 1 account is for the loan acquired first. The second loan is recorded on Loan 2 account. We use the loaner's name. Higher purchases is Group 30, with only the higher purchases account, as illustrated here. The higher purchases account is for recording higher purchase values, which are paid in installments. Section 5.10 Equity Accounts This is a classification for the owner's accounts. This includes Capital brought forward Capital added Plus drawings Capital brought forward account is for the capital or business value at the start of a business or financial year. Capital added account is for any extra capital contributed by the owner to the business. Drawings account is for what the owner took for their personal use.